I am in a little bit of a predicament. I really want to get them a gift so that way I have something to bring to them when I get to see them. Welcome back to the channel. So I am in a little bit of a predicament. So I actually found out that I'm gonna get the chance to see some friends of mine that I didn't think I was gonna get the chance to see before Christmas. But now I really wanna get them a gift so that way I have something to bring to them when I get to see them. Since I'm in a time crunch and I want to get them something thoughtful anyway, I thought it would be fun to try to thrift a gift basket for them. That way it's thoughtful, it's very much like intentional from me, and it may be something unique that maybe they can use to decorate, and it's also gonna be easy and affordable to put together. So let's go see what the thrift store has. I was really excited when I immediately found this super cute little round basket. It had leather handles and it was just the perfect size for a sweet little gift basket. The next thing I found was this super cute wine holder and it gave me the idea of finding a thrifted wine holder like this and pairing it with a bottle of wine would make a great gift. I'm not using it for these gift baskets, but I did grab it to bring home in style on our bar cart. This basket is way too big for a gift basket, but I couldn't not grab it. I mean, look how incredible this thing is. Luckily, soon after that, I was able to find an appropriate size gift basket, and this one was in really great shape. All you would have to do is remove that cloth insert, and it would make a really great stylish basket. Honestly, not sure what this is, but it's really cool and I felt like it could be so pretty on a shelf or something. So I picked this up, didn't know if I was going to use it in the basket or not, but I definitely did grab it. And then I made my way over to the mug section because I kind of figured finding a really cute like vintage looking mug or really beautiful mug like this one would make a great addition to these gift baskets. Another great thrifty gift basket idea is finding these little bud vases. There's always a million of them at thrift stores and pairing it with like a beautiful flower to add some life to your gift basket. Frames are also another great gifting go-to and thrift stores always have so many. I looked through the selection this particular day and didn't love anything that I found and knew that I had a million more at home that I liked better. So I wound up not picking up any this day, but always check your frame section and it does make great little gifts because you can add a personal photo of you and whichever friend that you're giving the basket to. And then what is a Christmas gift basket without an ornament? I looked around, found a couple of like cute, odd, unique ornaments, but knew that I had some at home, but definitely take a look. It's a great addition to your Christmas gift basket. I went back and forth between these Christmas tree teacups that I found and the mugs that I'd already found. And while these were really cute and classic, I ultimately decided on the mugs just because they're a little larger, a little bit more practical, but as I was leaving, I did find these cute cookie tins, and this would be a great alternative if you wanted to use this for the base of your gift basket versus like a regular basket. It would make a really cute, unique version. Okay, so here's what I picked up while I was thrifting for gift baskets. I did come across two of these really pretty baskets. They're different shapes, but they're in pretty good condition, and I think they're pretty and can be used for something else after they take the stuff out of the gift basket, which was my goal. I was hoping that they could repurpose it and use it in their home. So I think I successfully found two good sized gift baskets. And then I found these two cute mugs. Uh, one is kind of like a vintage -y Santa look. And then one of them has really pretty flowers and um, talks about being a mom, which will be perfect for one of my friends. So. Um, these are super cute and I definitely made sure to take all the stickers off and wash them really well. Um, so don't worry about that. 
But yeah, so that's what I actually wound up grabbing from the thrift store on this particular trip. But I was really inspired by some things that I saw and decided to come home and go to my stash and add in these really pretty ornaments that I've thrifted on previous trips. So these are really pretty little snowflake ornaments. So I'm gonna add these into their gift baskets uh, because I saw some ornaments, but they just weren't as pretty as what I know I had at home. But adding an ornament from a thrift store is a really cute idea because you can usually get something that's kind of like vintage and found looking. And then I thought it'd be really pretty to add in a brass candlestick into each of them with a candle. I just thought that that would just add like a really Christmassy look um, to put these down in the baskets. So, uh, and I obviously have so many of those. So I was like, you know what? I'll just use one that I already have instead of adding another one. Um, so I have uh, brass candlesticks and these would make great Christmas decorations too. So they're the perfect addition for the baskets. Then I was searching for a frame because I thought it'd be really cute to put in like a thrifted frame and then maybe print out a photo of us or print out some artwork. But then I remembered that I already had these art prints from Market. And so I'm just gonna give them um, an art print rolled up because I was going to frame these, but the frames would be too big for the baskets. And I think that these will be prettier and that they can actually use these in their home um, versus like a smaller little frame. Um, that's kind of like a cheaper little frame. So instead I'm just gonna roll these up behind and put these in their baskets with the other goodies. So now it's time to put these little gift baskets together. And that is it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and coming along with me to make some little thrifty gifts. I hope this video gave you some ideas for some last minute affordable thrifty gifts that you can give your girlfriends this season. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so that way you don't miss out on future videos from me and I will see you next time. Bye.